deficient power generation. The government of Nagaland spends the highest amount state exchequer on salary and pension. The power sector is another sector which is guzzling the state financial economy. Due to the state inability to generate its own power, the government is having to purchase power from various sources, which is in tune of hundreds of crores. Not only in the government purchasing power, but one of the biggest problems is the inability of the department to collect the revenue from consumers to even break, break even the purchasing costs. The revenue deficit of the state power department has greatly contributed to the deficit of the state budget. The irregularity of electricity has greatly hampered the homes, but most of all business in the Nagaland. All business in Nagaland falls under small and micro business, says, run by individuals or families. These businesses are meant to use diesel generators due to frequent power cuts and over the course of month, the cost of fuel costs more than the electricity bills. And with the cost of fuel prices at a historic height, it has even become uneconomical for business in the Nagaland to use generators for power breakups. It is not that the state does not have avenue of power generation. If the issue of power shortage is resolved, for the state, the economy of Nagaland will also greatly see an improvement over a period of time. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.